As previously mentioned, integration by parts is also needed when we have a function which we don't know how to integrate, such as ln x or tan inverse x. In this video we will consider the integral of ln x. Recall that the integration by parts formula is given by the integral of u dv equals u v minus the integral of v du. So we need to choose a u and a dv from the integral of ln x dx. And in this case we use a trick because this integral can be expressed as the integral of 1 ln x dx. And now we need to choose our u and our dv. As usual we always choose our u as a function we do not know how to integrate. So we let u equal ln x and we let dv equal 1 dx. So now we need to calculate du dx and calculate v. So differentiating u we get du dx equals 1 over x. So if we cross multiply we have du equals 1 over x multiplied by dx. While if we integrate dv we get v is equal to the integral of 1, so x. And now we can integrate 1 ln x dx to give us u times v, so ln x multiplied by x, minus the integral of v, so x times du, which is 1 over x dx. So here we can tidy this up to give us x ln x minus the integral. And now here we have x multiplied by 1 over x, so these will cancel, and we simply have 1 dx. So if we calculate this final integral, we get x ln x minus the integral of 1 dx, so integrating 1 we have minus x. And now as we've carried out all our integration, we add on the constant plus c. And we can go one step further and tidy this up further, as we have an x common to both of these terms, we can take out the common factor of x to be left with ln x minus 1 plus c.